అందరికీ నమస్కారం ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఐ విష్ ఆల్ ద సిటిజన్స్ ఏ హ్యాపీ డెమోక్రటిక్ నేషనల్ ఓటర్స్ డే ఐ ఆమ్ ఇమెన్స్లీ డిలైటెడ్ అండ్ అప్రిషియేటివ్ ఆఫ్ ద చీఫ్ ఎలక్ట్రల్ ఆఫీసర్ ద స్టేట్ ఎలక్షన్ కమిషనర్ అండ్ అదర్స్ ఫర్ ఇన్వైటింగ్ మీ టు బీ అ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ట్వెల్త్ నేషనల్ ఓటర్స్ డే సెలబ్రేషన్స్ the 12th national voters day celebrations theme making elections inclusive accessible and participative is indeed a relevant one in the present scenario when the elections are made more inclusive accessible and participative the democracy will be strengthened duly making it a meaningful one it is 72 years ago that the architects of our constitution gave us the strong and independent organization of the election commission of india with an objective to conduct and supervise free and fair elections and since then its role is over expanding and its tasks are getting ever gigantic with the record number of voters in the world not as a governor but as a voter of this country which is the mother of democracy i would like to emphasize the need to ensure a vote for all eligible citizens and enable them to eat in a free and fair manner the true yardstick for any vibrant democracy is the conduct of free and fair elections wherein each and every voter can cast his or her vote without any fear or favor i extend my hearty congratulations to all of you working in the office of chief electoral officer telangana and state election commissioner for the successful completion of the by elections mnc graduate constituency elections mnc local authorities elections and local body elections to several municipal corporations despite the prevailing covid-19 pandemic conditions it was ensured the conduct of elections in safe and wise duly followed all covid-19 preventive norms upon pursuing the poll percentages i feel that there is every need to focus and make concerted efforts to bring more urban voters to the polling booths since the overwhelming voter turnout is good sign of the strong and vibrant democracy and a true reflection of voters faith in democratic institutions it is the voter who ultimately decides in democracy every voter has an equal right and every vote has equal value this is the beauty of our age old democratic institution i strongly feel that exercising our franchise in true spirit is a enum service to our country i feel it as bounden duty to ask all voters to fulfill their responsibility by voting a candidate of their choice the constitution itself wide article 324 gives the election commission of india the powers of superintendence direction and control of the preparation of the electoral rolls for and the conduct of all elections to parliament and to the legislature of every state and of the elections to the offices of president and vice president it is therefore the election commission of india who has immense responsibilities and whose efficient functioning has a singular bearing on the quality of democracy in the country the role of the election commission both at the central and the state level have been outstanding in the performance of their bounden duty to ensure free and fair elections we must appreciate that they had to face daunting challenges in the process for the ceos office the management of an electorate of more than 3 crore voters and over 34867 polling stations is not an easy task that role deserves much appreciation for all the work 
that they do efficiently. I am happy to note that the Election Commission has initiated series of voter-friendly measures with its enabling use of technology. Election Commission of India has introduced the Voter Helpline app to make the electoral rolls more accessible and to reduce the human interface of the electors and make process of enrollment much more simpler and making the elections more accessible for the voter. It is a great pleasure to find civil society organizations, the corporate sector, the education institutions, the media and many others join the election commission in this shared goal. I am glad to have the privilege to recognize outstanding officers and honor them with awards for best electoral practices. I extend my heartiest congratulations to all of you for your invaluable contribution in efficiently managing elections, improving voter registration, enhancing voters' participation, educating and motivating voters, fighting back black money and paying news during elections and ensuring a conductive environment for people to cast their vote. You and lakhs of other personnel engaged in election management have the most crucial role in reinforcing and strengthening democratic values tried and again. Finally, my appeal to all voters and new voters. As per the Special Summary Revision 2022, there are 1,36,496 first-time electors. I congratulate each one of you on becoming a voter. Please register yourself as a voter and be the proud voters if you have completed 18 years of age. Exercise your franchise with pride in every election. Voting is our fundamental right. Make our democracy strong, vibrant and responsive. You will be doing a great service to yourself, the community, the state and the nation if you ponder upon the duty of exercising your franchise in a free and fair manner. Please think carefully. Then go out and vote. Your collective vote will decide your collective destiny. Every vote counts and every vote matters. From Panchayat to Parliament, your vote decides your future. I strongly believe that we are capable of being practical and set a healthy example for others to follow. I appeal the Election Commission has to not only sustain this consciousness but also to strengthen it further. I have also been informed that the National Voters Day organized by Election Commission is a part of the ongoing effect to bring every eligible citizen on the electoral roll. I focus of this drive is on the newly eligible voters in the age group of 18 to 19 years. Young voters are emerging as key players in strengthening the democracy. I appreciate the efforts of the Election Commission for its relentless efforts to enroll every eligible citizen in the electoral rolls. We must be proud of the fact that our country offers equal and universal franchise to all. I can say that the National Voters Day has captured the imagination of the youth in a very short span of time. I congratulate all the young voters of Telangana who have just received their epic cards. Further, this year, the Election Commission has designed a new and personalized voter kit for all the new electors in the form of an envelope which contains a personalized letter along with the voter guide and the electors pledge which will be delivered through speed post along with the EPIC card. I also compliment the crores of other voters across the state who have been simply empowered today and who have turned out in huge numbers to participate in the elections that were conducted this year despite the ongoing pandemic. During this year, Nagarjuna Sagar by-election saw a voter turnout of 86.18%. Zurabad by-election saw a voter turnout of 86.64%. The MLC local authority election witnessed more than 95% voter turnout on an average. I hope all of you will use this opportunity and excise your franchise 
every time in the most informed and ethical manner. Finally, I congratulate and appreciate the Election Commission of India, the Chief Electoral Officer and the State Election Commission for all the outstanding achievements. I further congratulate all the district collectors, EROs, BLOs and all the election functionaries who have been working relentlessly despite the pandemic in ensuring that the election process is completed in a free and fair manner. The initiatives of Election Commission of India like using digital technologies and social media tools to connect with the voters are appreciable. The special arrangements for the physically challenged voters and involving the participation of overseas voters, women and youth are worth mentioning. The significance of National Voters Day to, is to encourage more young voters to take part in the political process and to spread awareness among voters regarding effective participation in the electoral process. I wish you all a very happy National Voters Day. I wish you all great success in all future endeavours which are directed towards enrolling all eligible citizens in the electoral rolls and conducting free and fair polls duly creating a level playing field for all the contestants. Thank you all. Jai Hind. Jai Telangana.